This is the Sigma 2470F 2.8 Art DG OS HSM and this is the new 2470 Mark II F 2.8 Art. So the purpose of this particular intro was to prove that how far Sigma have actually come. See the size of this thing, it's from their DSLR era and uh, this is their new F 2.8 2470 Mark II DGDN. I currently don't have the Mark 1 version of the mirrorless uh, lenses of uh, Sigma 2470 but uh, let me assure you it's better in every way. Let me be explicitly honest. I do not get to keep this lens uh, after this review I would have to return it and also no money changed hands. Sigma is not paying me to make this review. These are my own personal opinions. And throughout this video, we are going to discuss three of the key elements of this lens. So one is build quality, second is image quality and third is its overall performance. So I took this lens with me to several events. One is a dance video, another is a fashion event, another is a concert. And then I also took this lens with me to a particular portrait shoot. And the very first thing which uh, came to my mind while using this lens is its its particular weight. It's very very light, very very you know handy and with all the buttons Sigma has incorporated in this new Mark II version, it, uh, the, 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 our job gets really easier. And um, another thing I would like to mention is its uh, brilliant autofocus performance. So we are at this gorgeous location and uh, it's kind of a fort and I am using the 2470 new Sigma Mark II DGDN and also the body I am using is S7C2 and the results I am getting are super. The autofocus is on point. I think it's because of the new motors that Sigma is incorporated into the lens. So they have incorporated a new autofocus motor which is like very snappy, very precise and silent. So let's talk about this lens's build quality for a second. Though it's really compact, really lightweight and you know fairly shorter than the previous version, um, it doesn't lack in build quality. I would say it's uh, really robust, really heavy which uh, gives you an improved image stabilization while doing video also. Image quality wise, uh, this lens like any other Sigma Art lenses is almost next to perfect it does not have any vignetting the edge to edge sharpness is great uh, there are no particular uh, lens flares or chromatic aberration if you really uh, zoom in close you can uh, see it for yourself so i would say i don't know it's because of they have implemented new technology or new coating because as i would uh, say for myself i don't know i am not a very technical reviewer per se it's my own personal feeling because at the end of the day getting the best for my clients is the most important thing to do and i think this lens does just that so at the end of this video the final question is should you upgrade if you do not have a 2470 yet what are you doing go get one it is the most versatile lenses of all it has the 2.8 aperture and it has the 24 to 70 which is medium telephoto as well as wide angle so if you're covering doesn't matter wedding or any wedding events whatever you're getting portraits even you should get one lens and if you already have this particular lens with the older version the question again comes to my mind that should you upgrade absolutely you should because the my fairly new that uh, the best best upgrade of this particular uh, new version is that this is the that the aperture ring this this aperture ring alone is the reason for you getting this new version and uh, yeah that's about it i'll see you in the next video bye bye